orange and yellow leaves paint the trees across a land that has been in our Lakota family for generations. It is a quiet, peaceful place that reminds me of my childhood. My memories of growing up are mostly around my mother. They are good memories. They are fond memories. We weren't punished. We weren't treated mean in any way. But that all changed when I turned five years old. The only thing I remember from the day that they took me is my mother being there and a strange looking car. It had one of those little badges on it that said, US government, a little small one. I don't know what they told my mother, but she was crying. And she told me in Lakota that I had to go with them. And that was it. I remember the word education being something that she had agreed to, but that isn't what we got. It was almost like a re-education camp where we were supposed to be turned into something that we weren't. I spent the next several years at Carlisle Indian School in Pennsylvania. It was the brainchild of Captain Richard Pratt, a US Army officer who said, kill the Indian there is in the race. All should be dead. Kill the Indian and save the man. They called it being civilized or we were uncivilized. We were savages. We couldn't learn. And so they had to do these things in order for us to learn. It was a struggle on a daily basis, a struggle to be a human being, but we weren't treated that way. Walter Little Moon, 1879. This is us, America. This has always been us, but it doesn't have to be. Help us raise awareness for the history of family separation and detention and take action. Visit gatheringforjustice.org slash thisisus to see how you can support.